Welcome to another episode of Your Time Matters. I am your host, Tamron, joining you here each week with a cup of delicious healthy tea. And there is just one magical ingredient inside my teacup this week. So I'm going to encourage you to stay tuned until the end of this video as I share with you why I chose to put it in here. And I've also added a dash of raw honey, not only to enhance the flavor, but to give my immune system a great big boost. Each week, I'm here to guide you with these astrological insights and wellness tips to educate you and guide you about what's currently happening in the astrological sky and how it might be affecting all of us down here on the planet on a personal and an emotional level. As one of Canada's top certified astrologers and a certified health coach, I am here to share with you that we have the full moon coming up this month in April. And that means the sun and the moon are going to be in exact opposite positions in the astrological sky. So the sun is going to be sitting in the sign of Taurus, which represents our values and our possessions. And the moon is sitting in the astrological sky of Scorpio. Now, remember, when the moon is in Scorpio, this is an intense energy and it represents the water element, which means emotions, crying, being triggered and tears. And remember, that is not negative if you feel like something is coming up for you, because that is the cleansing and the clearing that is happening. And this is a good thing. And Scorpio also represents any feelings of jealousy or maybe even a touch of resentment. So if anything like that is being triggered for you, just know it's time to let it go. It's negative. It, it no longer serves you. And so that is why I chose to put rose hips inside of my teacup this week. Now, these are dried. You can purchase these at your local health food stores or even online because Rose has that emotional healing property to create a sense of calmness and openness and acceptance towards yourself. And then that's how it's going to release any feelings of the jealousy. So it's a wonderful additive to your teacup. I'm going to encourage you to try it. If you've never done this before, remember to add the raw honey. It will taste that much better. And also if you're open to using high grade essential oils, you can also apply rose essential oil. And usually they are sold as a, as a combination already in a carrier oil of some sort. So the prices are a little bit lower. You can apply this to your wrist, maybe a little bit on your heart area to help keep you balanced. And so that you can move ahead during this full moon energy that is happening. Because when we release what no longer serves us and we feel so much better, that's how we can have a lot of healing and profound shifts occurring in our lives, whether that's in our personal areas or even in business matters. So I'm going to encourage you to do so. And always remember to write down anything that is coming up for you, whether that's showing up in your dreams or in your meditations, because that is your subconscious, that part of you that is trying to connect with you that is represented by the moon in astrology. And so when you can validate what it is that you're feeling, then you can use something to balance that out and to let it go. So again, if you've enjoyed any of the information that I've shared with you here this week, I'm going to encourage you to come back again for another episode of Your Time Matters. If you are a woman and you have been feeling super emotional lately, I'm going to encourage you to click on any of the social links below that are associated with this video, or you can send me a private message and find out how you can obtain either a live or a virtual astrology consultation with me so that we can interpret specific information inside of your birth chart so that you can determine what it is that's triggering you, maybe find out what recommendations we can guide you to use during this full moon or even start learning what is your specific sun and moon sign combined together maybe we're going to look at your purpose what your life lessons are so that you understand why you're repeating specific patterns in your life so that you can break through those 
and actually obtain the spiritual lesson. So the social links are included below and I look forward to seeing you again somewhere inside of my community. Cheers for now. Bye-bye.